Hey everybody, it's Mike from Mike Fixes Things once again. Today I'm going to show you how to power up a wiper motor to use for your Halloween props. So you've gone to the wrecking yard, got one of these for $20, and just don't know how to get it working. So inside here you'll see there's some uh, pins. This is what you want to hook your power supply up to. But we don't even know what kind of power supply to use. So. It's real simple. All you need is a computer charging, charging cord. What you want to look for is right there, the output. You want a 12 volt output. Um, and then the five amp right there. So 12 volt output, five amps. And you can do more than five amps if you want. It's gonna make your motor stronger. If you use lower voltage, you'll have a slower motor. So let's get down to it and show you how to do this. So you've got your wiper motor. I've got two here. Uh, I'm gonna use this one for demonstration purposes. I just hooked up a wire, a long wire, so that the power cord doesn't have to be out in the weather. So I've got this one here, I've got this wire hooked up to it, and down here are the tabs that you hook up to. This takes a little bit of trial and error trying to figure out exactly which one. Uh, for me, the very first one was the ground wire, and it was the second one that was uh, the speed I want. So the different tabs will give you different speeds, or nothing at all, or it'll make it just turn a little short one. But that's what you're looking for. So I've hooked up uh, black wire to the first tab, white wire to the second tab, and I've got it as an extension, and this is all I got here. So what you wanna do, you wanna, before you go cutting the wire on this, you wanna test and make sure it's gonna run fine. You're gonna plug in your computer charger, and then take the other end, right there and all you need to do to test it is find the end of your wire first now keep an eye on this this is the part that's going to be turning I'm just going to put the one wire in the middle here and then touch the other wire to the outside of that and as you can see it's turning So that's what we want. So my next step, all I'm going to do is cut this wire. I should unplug that. So you have to be careful with these actually. Once you unplug these, there's actually a little bit of charge left in there. So you have to uh, let it rest for a little bit and make sure that it doesn't give you a zap. So it's unplugged, wires cut, and I'm going to peel the wire. Twist those wires up a bit. couple of these morettes. So it doesn't matter whether you're putting it together this way or that way because all it's going to do is it's going to change the motion or the direction of the turn. So let's give that a try right now. I'm going to touch it to here and then here and that's turning it counterclockwise and I'm going to turn it over, touch it here to here and that's turning it clockwise. So if you have a preference of whether the thing's turning this way or that way, then uh, you want to hook it up the way you want it. So all I'm going to do now, and again, be careful with it right now because as you can see, there's still some charge left in this. So you want to be very careful. It's unplugged, but there's still power go coming from it.
go. So, and then we'll tape that nice and tight so it can't come apart. And now <clears throat> what we're gonna do is plug it in and it should go. There we go. There you have it, folks. I hope that helps you with your Halloween decor. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up. Please subscribe. It helps me out, too. Happy Halloween, everybody. Watch my next video to see how I used this wiper motor to make a Halloween prop move.